Hello again, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. President Trump is expected to announce he will end DACA in advance. Protests have ramped up across the country, like this one in Los Angeles tonight, hoping to save the program that allowed thousands of illegal immigrants brought to the U.S. as children to work and study here. Blake Hansen is first here on Fox 4 with a look at the possible impact on Texas workers. Blake. Heather, if DACA is gone, many recipients permitted to work in the U.S. would be at risk of deportation. One of them actually told me today he is okay with the program going away. Hebron Jimenez might never have found a passion for the flute were it not for the American education he started at age seven. In school, they taught us you know, this is a melting pot of, of uh, different immigrants. Jimenez is one of those immigrants. He came to Corsicana as a child, unaware of how he was entering the country. At that time, I wasn't, I didn't know what was going on. So I was confused. I was, I was disoriented. Jimenez is one of at least 120,000 immigrants in Texas who have enrolled in the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, program. Rolled out by the Obama administration in 2012, it allows illegal immigrants who came here as children to stay with a work permit. It lets Jimenez keep working as a welder to support himself and his fiance. But as the Trump administration could announce the program's end Tuesday, Jimenez is actually okay with it. I don't mind. Trump ending ending the program. You know, I'm not I'm not worried about it at all. Jimenez hopes the Trump administration can come up with a better, more long-term solution. Currently, a DACA recipient has to renew their eligibility every two years, but there are many DACA recipients more forcibly opposed to the program ending. When you love somebody, you protect them and you care for them. Um, and to, if the administration does decide to rescind the program, then that doesn't show any love or caring for our community. Sources tell Fox News President Trump will announce a six-month delay before the program ends to give Congress time to come up with a legislative solution. And if they don't... If they don't, then, like I said, I would, um, for people not like me, we would be... Um, will be unemployed. You know, we we wouldn't have no uh, no purpose, no no idea what to do. Um, and we wouldn't have any other way to uh, contribute to society, you know. Doesn't that make you nervous then hearing the uh, end DACA? It, it scares me a little bit. Uh, to be honest, it does. It does scare me. But again, uh, I do have hope of something more, much better. House Speaker Paul Ryan said Friday that President Trump should keep the program and let lawmakers decide what to do with it. Heather. All right, Blake, thank you.